Now back to our top story. Firefighters are on the scene tonight of a train derailment in Sugar Creek. Let's go back out to Cynthia with more. Cynthia. Amy, the latest here tonight is from uh, police and fire officials who tell us that they believe some type of mechanical failure, a malfunction caused two tanker cars to actually jump the car, jump the tracks at about uh, two o'clock this morning. It all happened uh, just north of this BP plant here in Sugar Creek. Flames reaching hundreds of feet into the sky erupted after the train derailed in Sugar Creek. Beth Vaughn shows us how authorities now are trying to avoid even more damage. Cars jumped the track in Sugar Creek just before 2 this morning. A tank carrying the chemical toluene exploded. It's flammable, but Chief Herb Soul isn't sure what sparked the blaze. It caught uh, fire to a tank car behind it that was filled with animal fat, and then one right behind it caught fire third, which was filled with... Uh, reconstituted oil. It engulfed and totaled a pair of locomotives as well, worth two million dollars a piece. The chain reaction threatened other tankers, one of which police think contained chlorine. That concern dissipated as crews moved the front of the train away from the heat. Other tankers got bathed with water in hopes of avoiding future explosions. That danger kept firefighters far from the blaze for hours. Seoul's original orders to let the fire burn out itself. Neighbor Dot Sharp watched from a mile away. Well, it's just a lot of black smoke, nothing to be alarmed about. But it's what Sharp couldn't see that worries Chief Soul the most. Cars are leaking fuel and chemicals threatening the area's waterways. Well, we have uh, hazmat crews down in there right now and they're building dikes and what have you to keep the product from coming out and getting into the creek, which would ultimately take it to the river. The Environmental Protection Agency helped out, plus air quality monitors showed no toxins in Sugar Creek or Independence. Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News. Now, the police and fire chief said that this is the second busiest rail line in Missouri. They do have crews trying to repair any malfunction or damage that's happened here, and they expect to have this line uh, back open sometime tomorrow night. Reporting live in Sugar Creek, Cynthia Newsom, NBC Action News.